Well, Knoxville is facing a new reality for the police force patrolling our streets. The number of rookie officers is way up, and by the end of this year, 70 veteran officers, almost 20% of the force, could retire. Tonight, we look at a key question facing the city. What is the impact of a police force made up of younger and less experienced officers? What did your dad say when you were when you graduated the academy? Oh, he was stoked. He was stoked. Inspired by the police service of his father, rookie officer Ben Olson is a symbol of the growing ranks of young officers patrolling Knoxville streets. I think a young police force could be good if you select the right people, train them well, and make them accountable. Experts in the law and policing say youth and inexperience can play a factor in how officers approach stressful situations, but doesn't make them any more likely to resort to deadly force. It really is more of a situational thing. Uh, I really don't notice a trend that our officer-involved shootings are with younger officers. I, I don't find that to be true. I think it's really across the board. So it's been going call the call the call. Officer Olson served eight years in the Marine Corps. And for perspective, look at how basic military training stacks up to police training. The academy alone for police recruits is almost double training time for most military recruits. You know, in boot camp, I feel like a lot of times you kind of just put your head down and grind through it. But in, in the training academy, you know, it's you got to be proficient in your driving, you got to be proficient in your shooting, you got to be proficient in law, you got to be proficient in departmental policies. And once you kind of choke down all that information, you're being tested, it's right on to the next week. Now, John, from the time an officer is actually hired, it takes months before they're on the street solo, right? It is almost a full year, Robin, and we go into detail about the extent of their training. Also, we hear more context from those experts about the impact of a younger police force. That's online right now at WBIR.com.